Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about one way to maximize your gains in the gym. If you are looking for something or a way to switch things up, I just got done with the workout and I want to share with you one way to do it if you have these pieces of equipment at your gym or ways that you can do it even if you don't have these pieces of equipment. So the technique I'm talking about is something known as like accommodating resistance. And the easiest way to explain that is we've all seen those people, hopefully you are not one of them, but the people at the gym, right? When, especially when they're doing curls and it tends to be a lot of macho guys, right? The biggest guys in the gym that want to show off and be like, I'm doing 50 pound curls, right? And what they'll do is they'll have the 50 pounds and they'll go like here and then all of a sudden you'll see them do this, right? They're doing one of these. We've all seen it. Why do they do that? Well, egotistically, they want to be like, oh, I lift a lot. But are they actually doing anything for uh, their benefit? Probably very minuscule. Why is because we need to think of our arms like moment arms. So the curl is a good, one, a good example. So around the fulcrum is where this moment arm kind of uh, happens. So we're weakest at the furthest distance away from our elbow. So if you're doing a curl, right, you're weakest when it's all the way at the bottom, hence why most guys don't go all the way to the bottom because it's very hard to get from here all the way back up to here. Hence why instead they'll take a heavy weight and they'll go all the way down to where they is, is their weakest point and then they'll bring it right back up because they're afraid to go the full length of the moment arm. So why is that important? Is because in order for us to get full maximal growth, you need to train throughout that full range of motion, right? So these guys are getting very little. Piece of, piece of equipment like this, this is a prime. I don't know if you're at your gym, they might have strive or they might have something completely different where you can accommodate the resistance. And this can happen on any piece of equipment. This can, you can do this on squats, you could do it on curls. The machine I'm gonna show you today is leg extension where you wanna work different angles of that entire range of motion because over time, after you've been training 10, 20, 30 years, you're really training, if you're working on machines, you're only training really weight being on one part of that entire moment arm. But when you have pieces like this that factor in that accommodating resistance, you can change the amount of weight and where it's at throughout that entire range of motion. So let me show you real quick. So I wanna to demonstrate to you what it looks like actually on a machine. Like I said, this one is a leg extension. So what we're gonna be doing here is when it's on one, it's like a normal, every gym has like a normal leg extension, right? So this is basically the normal range at which you're putting resistance on the quadricep when you're doing the leg extension. But what you can do with pieces of equipment like this, and like I said, hopefully you have some type of version of this at your gym, is you can move it to like a different angle where the entire weight is on a different part of that lift. So if we're thinking about our quadricep being lengthened in this position, the hardest part is at the bottom and then it gets easier and then the easiest is all the way closest to the top. Well, you can change where that resistance is placed with a piece of equipment like this. So for example, when I'm on two, it's putting most of the resistance all the way at the end of the motion. So when I'm doing this, it's very light at the bottom and now it's accommodating the resistance to be heavy right at this moment and so it's really heavy at the top. So I'm getting a different workload than I would with a traditional uh, weight or traditional machine, right? And then if I move it to three, it does the complete opposite. It's gonna be really light at the top and really overloaded at the bottom. So right now it's really hard to get this up out of zero. So you're working the hardest part of that movement really hard and then it's light at the top, right? So you're working and you're accommodating that resistance throughout the entire strength curve or throughout the entire muscle uh, curve that you're doing when you're, when you're doing this type of resistance training. Now, I wanna go over one or two ways that we could do this, even if you don't have one of these machines. I'll show you real quick. So one of the ways you can do this, even if you don't have one of those pieces of equipment at your gym, is buy one, a band like this, and you could use this for squats, you could even use it for push-ups. I'll show you the push-ups here in a minute. But think about what happens with a band when you stretch it. Does it get lighter or harder the more you stretch it, right? It gets harder the longer you stretch it. So for this, imagine putting this band around a squat, and when you're squatting, right, it's gonna, it, it's gonna, it's gonna have elasticity when you're going down, 
but all the way as you get closer to the top, it's gonna stretch and make that harder. So it's a way to accommodate the resistance. It's, it's very common known as band training with different movements to accommodate that resistance at the top of that strength curve to make sure you're just getting a little bit further and this can help with strength, but it could also help with hypertrophy because you're working a different angle than you're typically used to. And last, I'll demonstrate one of the ways that like when I go on the road or when I travel, I bring something like this so that way I could um, do some push-ups with this accommodating resistance to just throw in a little extra challenge to help with some muscle growth. So I'll show you real quick. So when you're on the road and you're traveling and you might not have access to a gym, it's like easy to pack something like this. And rather than just do regular push-ups, you can throw in something like this. All you do is you take it, throw it around your back, right? Make sure it's, it's nice and even, put your hands through it like this. And you're just gonna do push-ups. And very similarly, there's gonna be slack at the bottom, right? There's no resistance here. But as I push up, the band is stretching, right? So it's making that push-up just a little bit harder. Right? So just a little hack for something when you're on the road, a little hack when you're at the gym, something to accommodate that strength curve, make it a little bit more difficult, and maybe add a couple more pounds of muscle to your overall body composition. So hope that helps. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. I'm here to help always. I'll talk to you soon.